Our world is an extraordinary and beautiful place filled with a multitude of different animals and plants. We depend upon that world for the very food we eat, for the air we breathe. Some might think that we depend on it too for our sanity. But one thing is absolutely certain. The natural world is now under pressure as never before. A pressure that has been caused by us. The future is looking very difficult, but something can be done and something must be done. And the time to do it is now. The great man has spoken, there's no doubt about it. And it is time to act, we can't dispute that either. But you know, act we can. There's no need for any doom, any gloom, because we've equipped ourselves with a remarkable arsenal of 21st century conservation techniques. We've got new ideas, we've got new methods, we've got new technologies that can make a difference. We're just short of one thing, and I'm afraid to say that it's you. Well, the BBC Wildlife Fund was inaugurated in 2007 by the Natural History Unit that for many years, as I'm sure you know, have been making the finest wildlife programmes in the world. And they just felt it was time to put a little something back. So they very really rapidly raised, in excess of £1 million, I can tell you it's actually £1 million, six hundred and forty-six thousand pounds and 46 pounds on top of that <laughs> and every last pound has been made to count but the question is Kate so we got all that money okay and it was given away through a grant application scheme to wildlife charities all over the world but why is it so important well it's so important for this very simple reason without wildlife the world wouldn't exist at all all of us People, animals, plants, birds are vital components that keep the world living and breathing. But we need money. Where does that money come from? Well, sadly, it doesn't come out of the ether. And despite extensive searches through the grubby rainforest of the world, we haven't found a money tree. The money, I'm afraid, needs to come Thank you, Chris. from you. Yes, butterflies, bustards, water voles. Water voles. Water voles. Now, sorry, Pete. Pete Smith yep. from Wildwood Trust. Wildwood Trust. Water voles, it's a shocker, isn't it? Because they've dropped 97% in 30 years. Absolutely. They're Britain's most endangered mammal. Their species numbers have crashed. And that's because we've wrecked all our rivers. We've stopped them being natural living things. We've stopped them wavering and meandering, mm -hmm. creating oxbow lakes, little reed beds. They now just flood their channels mm -hmm. and they're not natural and all the water voles have died out. And the mink. Oh, as well. we have got the mink, but it's the habitat loss that allows okay. the mink to go and kill them. And that's yeah. the thing. So it's, it's all about your bankside vegetation. Bankside vegetation. Now, how do the BBC Wildlife Fund help you with the Waterfall Project? Well, they give us lots of money, because what we do, we've got a brilliant How much centre. money? How much is oh, lots of money? Well, they've given us £5,000, then there's lots of money. some more money that we've got on another Waterfall Conservation Project. Fantastic. So it's fantastic what we did. It's expensive to look after waterfalls. We need special blood tests. We've got to do all kinds of screening. We've got to feed them, look after them. We've got to survey them. So we've put them on this beautiful area that we've helped volunteers have restored this river bank back to a natural uh, condition at a yeah. secret site in Kent and we've bred up 50 water voles, rescued them from a site where they were going to be destroyed and we've put them back in there and right. we found out we do lots of tests. Has it worked? It has. We've had How do you know it's worked? Well we put little microchips in them and right. we've got scanners that scan right. them and right. we've got experts who can trap them and test them and all yep. that and lots of number crunching and they've bred fantastically well Fantastic. and we've had some reports back from our volunteers and they've said they've seen young from this year breeding beautifully. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed, Peter. It's working and boy do they need it. So does our British wildlife. If you would like to help our butterflies, our mammals, our birds, you can. Excuse me, you know how. Go to the telephone. There's the number 03705 100 700 or go to the website or press the red button and all of that you can contribute money. Thank you very much.